Okay, so my client is changing uh, their, they're pivoting their message around from products to more of a service. Uh, and they really like this very simple design um, from a video producer. Uh, so it's same, same, same niche. And uh, it basically had a homepage with a video on it. And then uh, some like a sh eight or 10 post portfolio page, which linked to YouTube videos and uh, maybe like a form or two. And basically that was it. Um, this this website owner has a large following and i've since found out that they've been they really pushed content so they were making content like on a daily basis for a year mm -hmm. um i think they've got like thirty three thousand followers on tiktok and then like maybe half or a third of that on instagram and, and then less on youtube but they do have really great content um so it's they're that's feeding back to their website yeah um she really likes this approach uh, and since this would be a switch from like their content and their goals would be completely switching, uh, is there anything else that I should consider or, you know, talk with her about um, if, before we go to this route? And she knows that this, there's a lot of content generation on these platforms yeah. um, that, that like resulted in these results. I was yeah. like, yeah, you need to have like a strong brand awareness so that people can visit your website because at that point, I imagine for her, she'd pretty much have just like a blog and then, you know, a homepage and contact form. Yeah. I like this. This kind of a strategic question, right? Yeah. So from, from an SEO perspective, a one page website with just a couple of YouTube videos is you're not going to get any organic no. search traffic, but she may not care about that. Yeah. You know? She's looking, she's looking at, she's seeing what she has now isn't converting and yeah, I can, I can, I can find some issues in it. I had, hadn't guided her uh, through the marketing process and, you know, we haven't, it didn't done like strategic planning on our website. I was pretty much just like, implementing things for her yeah. um, on the website prior to this. Yeah. But we're collaborating a little bit more. Yeah. Out of this round. So if, let's just assume that we don't really care about SEO for this site. Maybe, okay. maybe that, maybe that's an oversight. Right. Um, but maybe, maybe we're just so good at this other channels. We don't need SEO. And I, I say, I love SEO, but it's not for everybody. Right. Yeah. SEO responds to demand. It doesn't create demand and social media does a really good job generating demand, which SEO does a really poor job of. Right. Yeah. So if she is a demand marketer, she has, an audience and is paid to promote products and stuff like that, SEO isn't going to be her big win. Yeah. But if she has products that she's drumming up, you know, support for trying to get people to buy or services that, you know, that people don't. Yeah, it would be, it would be a service. Need. Yeah. It would certainly be a service. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. if it's like a service that, and that's where the keyword research could be helpful to go through the keyword research process and determine, are people looking for this service? If they are, then SEO might be an opportunity. If they're not, because people don't know what it, like I have a, a, a new prospective client where they have a really wonderful product. They've worked really hard building it with experts, but no one knows it exists, right? And it, it's the best product ever for, for, for infant children. Like, it's great. I'll be yeah. proud to work with them, but like no one, no one's looking for it because they don't know it's a possibility. So the play isn't SEO, but if it's a service like, like your, your client's doing and people are looking for the service, like if they're a plumber, well, people look for plumbers, right? Yeah. But if it's not, but the keyword research process will help you flush through whether people are searching for it to whether or not SEO needs to be a consideration, okay. right? Now, from an, so if, if SEO is not a consideration, then, then what is the purpose of the website is the kind of the strategic question. And I'd suggest a couple of things, like, like a lot of like Instagram and stuff like that platforms, you'll get one link to a page and then you could potentially cross pollinate. Yeah, link tree, focus, yeah, like right? a bio thing, yeah. Right, and so that it'd be just a complicated version of that. But I'd say, and, and this just comes from lots of experience doing online marketing, 
I get really tired of renting traffic and being at the whims of whatever algorithm may be coming through, right? I mean, Stephanie can tell us about Facebook algorithms and, you know, how at one time you do this, but now it gets a lot harder. But like we talk about the Google algorithms too, right? So it's like, all right, now we're all AI generated. Is our traffic going to evaporate? Yeah. So if I was this person, I would want to try to control as many people as I could. Boy, that sounded terrible. Try to, try to control as many people as I could. Now you know what I really think of TikTok. <laughs> I was going to say your dictatorship is coming uh, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's uh, terrifying. This is, yeah. All right. I, I voted yesterday. I really did. Um, so, but like, I would want to control the, the message as much as possible. And by that, I mean, get people into my email list. And if that's the call to action of your website, no matter what platform they're coming from, if I got them on my email list, I have a captive audience of people who really want to follow me mm -hmm. that if TikTok gets banned or whatever, if yeah. the Instagram algorithm just totally trashes whatever service area for whatever reason, okay, well, we've built up a really, really good quality email list. And with that gonna that's gonna prevail over whatever yeah then, you know then while she's transitioning to the next email the next social media platform she's got her email list saying now go follow me on the chat twitter or x yeah platform whatever latest but so i would almost say like the purpose of the website is to consolidate all the traffic and get them onto your weekly email or whatever yeah i mean this the the, the website that she liked basically i mean it had a decent sized form you know with yeah included some detailed information more than name email it's more like talk talk to me about your project um email address um so it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like they're sending out uh like newsletter type emails right they're just it's like it's a connect to to work on your project um but certainly having that list would be valuable uh, yeah, right. and not everybody who, especially from a social media perspective, not everybody who comes to your website is ready to hire you for the service. Yes. Right. And we want to have that captive audience, not control people, that captive audience that we can say. And, and like I have one of my clients, their email list, it's almost a joke. It's like months a little slow, send an email and we'll make $10,000. Right. It's wonderful. For them, they just think of their email list as I just need to make an extra 10 grand this month. I'm going to send out an email. And like if if you could have an email list like that, full of people that were really valuable. Yeah. That you're like, hey, my service is a little bit slow this month. I'll just send out an email, invite people to sign up for my service because for whatever reason, it's a little slow. Great. You know, that is a win. And it. And she, if this person is, you know, even every once in a while, gently nudging people to sign up for my email list or whatever. Now, you just have a a, a a line of people waiting to work with you, you know, and help, you know, providing value in that email. And I know, well, yeah, it's like if you're pretty much a service provider, like, you know, if you're in the video production industry. Yeah. What what's I mean, the value is really getting to see the, the latest videos that may help them in there because maybe you are also in a in a in an adjacent field. Right. Um so yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that, that's that. where the, the email strategy is a whole other conversation of well, what you know, but I, to me, an email strategy is similar to a blog strategy where it's like we're not just selling in our blog, we are talking yeah. about helpful things and by the way we can help you with this but but yeah. really we're just providing something of value to you for free and and that's the same way of, of a good email yeah. not not bye 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 now but hey here's a and that's harder for some industries and services yeah. than others right